part three of our fan bell dance. Part three is where we have just gotten our fan open and we're ready to do stuff with it wide open. And we got that way by doing a pivot turn at the end of the last move. And as we were pivoting, you can kind of fudge that open if you need to. Um, if you play with your fan bell enough, you might get it to the point where when you're turning around, you can just open it one handed. That would be perfect too, but you definitely have the ability to just fudge it as you're turning and nobody will really notice. And so we get back around to the front, we have it open, there's a crash that we're gonna be like, woohoo, there's our fans. Everybody's gonna be amazed. Um, the first thing we're gonna do with it is just keep it fluttering, but that right foot that was just going around in the pivot, we're gonna take that right foot behind so we can lower ourselves down, let our fan just almost kiss the ground come back up and then raise it over our head. So as I was going down and up, and I'll just keep the fan out of it for a second. As I was going down and up, I was thinking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the flip overhead is eight. Um, so here we're gonna do Mayan with it just over our head. And to be a little bit more dramatic, kind of look across your hip that's doing it. We'll go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So we get a full eight count. We end up toward their left, and we'll go ahead and turn our body a little bit more that way. And we're just going to wave the fan directly overhead, holding it with both hands very dramatically. So all the way forward, back forward, back, turn to the other side, forward, and back, forward, and back. Here we're gonna let go of it with the left hand, so we're only holding it in the right. And we're gonna draw a figure eight with it, but it's gonna be a little different than when it was closed because it doesn't behave the same way as it did when it's closed. So I always want my wooden part to be coming forward and letting the, the fan of it, the um, veil part of the fan trail behind. So it's gonna go across and under, up and under. So it makes two figure eights, but you kind of have to fudge that last one a little bit. So we're going over and under, over and under, over and under, over. And we're not gonna quite bring it back to under because we need it to be at that position. We're going to flutter it as we just step to turn four steps around. And when you get back to the front, the music increases a little. So to be a little more dramatic, we'll wave it overhead for about two counts. Then we're going to hold it over our head like we did when we were doing the Mayan. And we're gonna be moving, but this part's going to be person specific. So that's gonna be in part four. You don't quite know where you're moving to yet but it's going to be to get into a position so that everybody's kind of lined up and we can do some very dramatic stuff all in the line and kind of cascading. So you're gonna end part three right here just by flipping it up and be ready to learn some more position specific stuff next time. Okay, so let's see what that looks like to music.